So this question asks, the central claim of the passage is that. So this is basically the main argument that's being made. Um, so I think we can get rid of some of these pretty quickly because of their strong language. So if we look at B, um, even without reading the passage, it says women have, can have positions of influence in English society only if they give up some of their traditional roles. Um, that word only makes that a really strong um, statement and I think we can get rid of it pretty quickly. Now the rest of them, I think we're going to have to look into the passage and see if we see some evidence for it. So in A, it says educated women face a decision about how to engage with existing institutions. So do women have a decision here? Um, yeah, I think so. There's evidence for that. So in line 48 says, and these are very important questions and we have very little time in which to answer them. So this is kind of a decision, right? There are questions that have to be answered. Um, now, how to engage with ex existing institutions. We can kind of look into that later. I think we'll keep A for now. Let's go to C. The male monopoly on power in English society has had grave and continuing effects. Um, so first of all, this one is also kind of strong. I'd be a little um, skeptical of it already because um, grave is a very strong word. And, but I, the part that I really don't like is continuing effects. Um, she mentioned in the passage uh, that women are getting included in society now. So male monopoly does not have continuing effects because there's no mon male monopoly anymore. Um, so C, I'd get rid of. D says, the entry of educated women in positions of power traditionally held by men will transform those positions. So she is saying women are getting into positions of power traditionally held by men. But does she say that they will transform those positions? Um, well, we're between A and D. We either have to say, so we know that they're facing a decision, so we have to figure out, but is that with existing institutions? And we know that they're getting positions of power traditionally held by men, but is she saying they will transform those positions? Um, I think A has the most evidence because if you look online, um, basically uh, in line like 72, it says, let us think in offices and omnibuses while we are standing in a crowd watching coronations of Lord Mayor shows. Let us think. Um, what and it goes on to say in line 78 what are these ceremonies and why should we take part in them so it's basically saying men have set up these these ceremonies that they do and should we as women be a part of it right so they exist already should we be included in that what are these professions and why should we make money out of them right should we take the same jobs the professions that men have um, and make money from and last one, where in short is it leading us? The procession of sons of educated men, right? So this is saying uh, they've already set up all these things. Do we want to continue doing that or do we want to change it? Um, so A has more evidence. I think it's your best answer.